Today I will be demonstrating how to assemble a screen array retractable fly screen or blind with a small pelmet. I will be providing you with a step-by-step -step process and an easy to follow guide that will be suitable for people from novice to experienced abilities. To begin process, place the unit on a flat covered surface. Remove all content from the box, there are three parts, and remove all plastic, placing the frame parts in intended position of assembly. Place both side covers and top helmet to the side. Remove the tape off the side frames to release knotted end of the Kevlar cord. Then take the looped end of the Kevlar cord off the top pulley wheel and place to the side. Next, remove the roller with the fabric from the top frame using a torque tool or a size 2 Allen key by gently disengaging flat in corner block. This will release one end of the roller, then gently pull other end out, making sure caution is taken with the fabric of the unit. Remove both plastic lugs from the insert cross rail ends and place to the side. Now it is time to attach the looped end of the Kevlar cord over the cross rail insert bar. Make sure it is hard up against the inside and tight over the rail. This is done to both the left and right hand sides. Now you can reattach the plastic lugs onto the both ends of the cross rail insert bar, making sure that they are all the way home. Next you will notice that each end cap roller has a slot in it. You can now insert the knotted end of the Kevlar cord into this slot, making sure it cannot be released by pushing the knot as far down as possible. Once the knot is secured, wind the Kevlar cord around the roller between five to seven rotations in a downwards direction. Repeat this on both sides. Have a small amount of fabric loose and then reinsert roller into the top frame. A small click will identify that the roller is in the correct position. Making sure the cross rail insert bar caps are underneath the side guides, now attach side frames to the corner blocks. Tighten the grub screws only enough to get a hold. Check to see if the top pulley wheel is all the way to the top of the side frame. If it isn't, loosen the grub screw and slide it all the way up and tighten the screw. Adjust the tension of the unit by loosening the grub screw of the bottom pulley to remove the slack from the Kevlar cord. Grab the cord and place under the top pulley wheel. And place it over the second wheel. Now you'll insert the bottom rail. The bottom rail can face both ways depending on the application. Now hold up the unit and test the movement. And now we're ready to install. For more information or other options, contact Screenway.